Jamaica, a melting pot of culture, cuisine, and natural beauty. This is where 16 of the Caribbean's best chefs are using the region's most loved set of spices from Maggie to create culinary masterpieces at the Maggie Food Court Caribbean. These dish defendants will need a measure of fortitude. You have to definitely come good. There's no, you can't make, I can't make any errors. A pinch of flair. Maggie Food Court ain't ready for me. And the ability to stay calm under pressure. I thought I was nervous before I was wrong. Like, no, I'm nervous, fam. But only one will be found to have made the best overall cuisine case. Be appointed the Maggie Food Court champion and take home the 10,000 US dollars award. And that person is. Am I really going to do this? This is Maggie Food Court Caribbean. The land of wood and water, with the Caribbean's most diverse collection of flavors and spices, is the perfect stage for the region's biggest culinary court hearing. With such a diverse selection, What's up, what's up, we're rich. There are bound to be many different flavors. It's very good. It is impregnated with flavor. Friendships. We are all chefs from around the Caribbean, so the importance of connecting with each other was very valuable for me. And conflicts. From morning your talk, one bag of chatting, cooking time, no. Hopefully, they play nice and get comfortable. But while their court appearances are pending, meet the judge and jury who will deliberate on the defendant's plates. Judge Geron Geronimo Green, with over 12 years of experience in the industry, he has seen it all. I'm Geron Green, I'm Geronimo. I am chef owner of Geronimo's Kitchen, one of Jamaica's finest gourmet catering companies and I am the judge on Maggie's Food Court. Food is, is my life, actually. Um, I've been cooking from a very, very early age. Um, I have probably about 12 combined years of experience in the culinary industry, both locally and abroad. I've worked in kitchens in New York. I've managed kitchens uh, before I started my own culinary company uh, about five years ago. Cooking, food is my life. It is my peace. It is that thing that anchors me on a rough day. It's that thing that motivates me to achieve. It's my safe space. Who doesn't like to smell all the flavors, to taste all the essences? It, food is everything to me. This season of uh, Maggie Food Court Caribbean promises to be exciting and I'm just as excited to see the culinary creations of these geniuses that have been gathered from all over the Caribbean. I'm looking for presentation, a different level of, of culinary finesse, of, of the, bringing the flavors from here, there, and everywhere, and presenting them as a part of you, as a part of Caribbean, as a part of your country on a plate. So I'm pretty excited to see what the chefs will bring to the table, literally and um, figuratively. Juror Natasha de Borg, aka the classy chef, as seen on reality TV show Below Deck, is a well traveled chef who has worked with celebrities and dignitaries. Juror Natasha has worked alongside some of the best Michelin restaurants across Europe and in the USA. I have been doing this a couple years now, maybe like 13, 14 years now. I left Trinidad like 10 years ago and my aim was to work at the best restaurants around the world. Every day a different country and yeah, that's kind of like my style. A gypsy traveling, here, there, everywhere. Now you can catch me over in Jamaica where I would be at Maggie's Food Court. Make sure that you bring your A game because I would be there to judge. Jura Brian Lumley, one of the region's most prominent executive chefs and the youngest winner of the Jamaica Chef of the Year Award at just 21 years old has catered to some of the world's most prestigious clientele. I started in the culinary industry about 15 years ago. Um, don't make the baby face fool you. I'm from Kingston originally, uh, one of three kids. I'm the middle child and my mom taught all of us how to cook. Um, but I figured out a way that, you know, when we get to the dining table, if I help cook in the kitchen, I can eat out some of the food. So by the time I reach the dining table, our belly is half full, you see it? So from that, I just 
started to evoke the passion and I realized that I was pretty good at it and it just started lighting that flame and I just want to you know bring uh, an eclectic mix of food and entertainment to Kingston's dining scene. There's just so much more flavors and styles and techniques that we have to offer. Guest juror Okino Petrie, business executive officer at Nestle Jamaica, with responsibilities for Maggie across the Caribbean. Not sure for me, these things are just flowers. They're actually edible. Hmm. I just can't believe it's not cornmeal porridge. They will be joined by special guest jurors throughout each court session. Well, Janiel, I, I, we sent you in to have some fun, but this looks like a, a lot of fun. I mean, it was very, very tasty. It's a little... Actually, it's not bad. A little oh, undercooked. More when we return to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. From farm. To freshly produced. To family. Savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie Green Seasoning. Indulge in any of our three fantastic flavors. Original, spicy, or citrus. Made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. Grown under the warmth of our Caribbean sun, we invite you to feast on the island's richest flavors. Cultivated with the passion of farmers who labor in love, nurture with care, and harvest in pride. The freshest seasoning and peppers, brought straight from the farm to your family, to add that sumptuous, succulent taste you love. Made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of our homemade taste. Maggie Green Seasoning, Maggie Pepper Sauce, and Maggie Jerk Seasoning. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. Welcome back to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. Let's meet our litigants. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island located between the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. The ethnic composition of Trinidad and Tobago has contributed significantly to the mix of African and East Indian flavors in food. The islands are known for their doubles, shark and bake, roti, pelau and falori. Most Caribbean people, we lime and we drink rum, have a good time. Um, so I just see started to become the, 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 the chef for cook amongst my friends for limes and stuff. And basically for about 10 years, I just lime and drink rum. Not until I met my wife, uh, she, she was like, how come you never went to culinary school? And, and that's where the real push to become a chef came about. When you eat a dish that Rishi has prepared, it resonates with a memory, with a feeling. He has the ability to deconstruct local cuisine and make it in such an artwork. I've never really entered any major cooking competition, so this would be one of the first for me. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Thank you. See you in court. Jamaica, I'm coming for the Maggie Food Court. My name is Simone Edwin and I am 34 years of age. We are currently in my Meraki Catering Studio Home Kitchen in the beautiful island of Trinidad and Tobago. I did not know I wanted to become a chef. A teacher of mine said that I should go to an open house at the local institute, the Culinary Institute. That was it. That was culinary. That was cooking for me. It has become my literally whole life. Uh, I've known Simone for 20 years. Food has always been kind of at the center of everything we do, you know, whether it's cutters with your drinks or whether it's like a full-on dinner and dessert. I'm pretty confident she's going to win. Chef, Hi. you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Ah, okay, cool. This looks a little bit serious. See you in court. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> that is funny. Coming to the Maggie Food Court competition, hopefully to take it all home.
My name is Marlon Timothy, I'm 27 years old, and I'm the research and development chef here at Tua Bayrishi, located in Arima, Trinidad. It kind of sparked an interest in me seeing new items, new food items, and experiencing new things because growing up in a small village, like all the foods were like very local. So I just wanted to experience international cuisine and that's what started my passion for cooking. I'm cooking about seven years professional, you know. Um, being very young, to be honest, I'm not really afraid of anything or anybody, so like competition doesn't scare me. I think Marlon's an aggressive competitor. Can to give the competition a real run for the money? I think that we have a lot of talented chefs here, especially younger chefs, uh, that need that kind of recognition to show that, you know, Trinidad is not just about like carnival and beaches. Our food, our food and culture is really good. I, yeah, I am actually head to head with Rishi in this competition. I've known Marlon for the past three years. Um, he would be probably my biggest competition. Marlon, best of luck. Um, be afraid, because I am coming. I'm not really afraid of these dinosaurs. <laughs> Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Oh. See you in court. All right. I'm really excited to be a part of the competition, see everyone's skill sets and where they are, and just show them that I'm better. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chef Bernard, 56 years old, in the beautiful Drew Manor, Santa Cruz, in Trinidad. Now living in Trinidad for the last 25 years, they call me a tree weed. I left school at the tender age of 15 to become an apprentice chef. Um, here I am 40 years later. Been a chef for 40 years plus, it's, it's, most chefs are probably in their 70s by this, by this stage in their career. When I met Bernard, he was a chef at the same place that I was working at. And immediately, I loved his food from then. And ever since we've been hanging out, he would always cook for me. His food is always amazing. Oh, we have a melting pot of different cuisines in Trinidad, which I like. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food. I'm doing an interview. See you in court. I'll be there. Watch out, I'm coming. Guyana, known for their unique flavor profiles, dishes and dining experiences as a result of their ethnic makeup started with their resourceful indigenous population. With the colonial era diversifying the ethnic makeup came a new mix of dishes such as chicken curry, dal and choka. I'm Timothy Pasan. I'm 40 years old. I'm a chef at Anne's Catering. I'm representing Georgetown, Guyana and I'm coming to Maggie Food Court to take the first prize. I born and grow in Wakenham. That's an island in the Essequibo River. It's a remote um, part of Guyana. I learned cooking from my grandparents because they were, they were the best cooks at the time. I have seven children, six daughters and one son. I wouldn't say it's easy to have seven children. My kids are, are, are my life. <laughs> my dad got so excited when he got the call that he's entered the competition and the um, excitement is him in him is like a little um, a little child receiving present to win maggie food court for me would be a real big thing the, the feeling from the exposure would be greater than receiving the cash prize which i'm grateful if i could get everything to receive that money yeah it would do my family good i just want to say that i wish timothy the best that uh, we can go to Jamaica and he will ace this thing. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. I'm looking forward to this. See you in court. Thank you. Maggie Food Court. Barbados' Bayesian cultural roots are in the plantation slavery economy, a unique blend of West African and European. Influences from Africa, India, Ireland and Britain have permeated the island, combining to produce a unique tropical offering. A typical Bayesian meal such as the national dish, cuckoo and flying fish, comprises a meal of meat or fish, marinated in herbs and spices, accompanied by a selection of salads and a range of hot and spicy side dishes. I'm originally from St. Vincent and Grenadine, born, born there. Um, grew up here in Barbados, came here when I was a little child, a year and a half to be at Zap. So I'm typically mostly fancy Bajan, or some people say I'll call me full Bajan. <laughs> I would say I introduced myself to cooking because I never thought I would be a chef today. Uh, my main thing that I was mostly interested in was, you know, in the whole military vibe in terms of cadet kid, and I was actually a cadet and also a past soldier. So, uh, you know, that was my main number one love coming out as a youth. 
also I had no either thinking or interest in cooking. Um, my dad was a chef, my mom was also a chef. So I guess it's something that was just naturally, you know, hidden in me until I actually tried my hand on it to actually, you know, hey, you actually got cooking skills and talent. So I decided hey, why not use it rather than waste it. <laughs> chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. See you in court. Whoa, really? CLS, Jamaica, Chef Eddie coming. St. Lucian cuisine is an eclectic mix of African, European, Indian, and Caribbean flavors. Food habits reflect the plantation past. The typical diet contains a lot of starches, animal protein content that varies by location, and until recently, little in the way of green vegetables. Their national dish is green banana and salt fish, or as they say it, green figs and salt fish. Maggie food pudding is ready for me. I got to eat that straight. I snap it into existence. I'm here to win that competition, hands down. Currently now I run the kitchen. I do the day to day for Tasty Ban. Tasty Ban is a restaurant that technically I created with a lot of the whole atmosphere and the idea of Tasty Ban, culinary wise, came from me. What I can see, I cook now, I cook Caribbean fine dining food. Nothing doesn't phase me in the kitchen. I make anything happen. The days are no electricity, I still have my candle and I make anything happen. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Yes. See you in court. When, when, I, when, when I leave, super chef in playing, you know. Them Jamaican man better stay at home. Be your kissing, you cry for your mama. The Bahamas comprises about 700 islands and keys. So it's unsurprising that seafood plays a prominent role in the Bahamian diet. Bahamian cuisine is a fusion of West African, European, American, and indigenous culinary traditions. Some famous cultural dishes are chicken sauce, fire engine, and pigeon peas and rice. Seafood like fish, lobster, crab, and shellfish are staples in Bahamian cuisine, but none are more beloved than conch, a large tropical mollusk or sea snail with firm white flesh. It's widely regarded to be a Bahamian national dish. My name is Marcella Evans. We're in the beautiful island of Nassau, Bahamas. My grandmother introduced me to cooking. I mean, I've been around food my entire life, but I remember growing up at her feet, making dishes like crab and rice and homemade bread and fried fish. And every activity, whether it's wedding or a uh, funeral or just party or a good lime, the one of the most important components is food. The thing I think about the Caribbean is that it has the most amazing food of, around the world. Diverse um, herbs and spices and methods, because like even rice and peas and peas and rice, it's the same ingredients, but completely different methods. If I win the Maggie Food Court on the regional stage, I think it would be an amazing opportunity. I think it would be validating, especially considering that I came into this industry as an adult. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. See you in court. Wow, I'm going to Jamaica, guys. So excited. It's going to be an amazing experience. Stay tuned for more Defendants when we return. produced to family savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie jerk seasoning indulge in our two fantastic flavors of Maggie jerk seasoning in mild or spicy made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of a homemade taste Maggie, the secret of great flavor. From farm. To freshly produced. To family. Savor the sumptuous sensation of Maggie jerk seasoning. Indulge in our two fantastic flavors of Maggie jerk seasoning in mild or spicy. 
made with freshly picked ingredients so you can relish the richness of a homemade taste. Maggie, the secret of great flavor. Welcome back to Maggie Food Court Caribbean. The host country, Jamaica. Jamaican cuisine is a testament to its motto, out of many, one people, with ingredients, dishes, and cooking methods that are a result of the synergy between its African, European, Chinese, Lebanese, and East Indian inhabitants. Their national dish is ackee and saltfish, but popular Jamaican dishes include Johnny Cake, Escovich Fish, Bami, and world-famous jerk chicken and jerk pork. I've been cooking all my life, basically. I'm the eldest of six, so I had to come from school and so I had to prepare dinner for my younger siblings. I've been cooking now professionally 18 years. Jana is a go-getter. He's somebody that pulls everybody together. He's friendly, warm, and he's just straightforward. Every single dish that is made by Janoi, you have Jamaica that's infused somewhere, somehow. I got four daughters. My daughters don't like to cook. They say daddy's a chef, so daddy should cook all the time. Maggie. So, chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Okay. See you in court. All right. You know, I'm the guy to beat, so everybody look out. The West is here. Hi. Hi, I'm Alisa Lee. I'm 32 years old and I'm the chef owner at Five Spice Catering. Every dish I make is influenced by our rich Jamaican food culture. I love cooking for the persons around me, whether it's my team, my family, even my boyfriend. I studied at UTEC, Jamaica. I did food service management and then I've done a couple internships both here and overseas. She really caters to the needs of the individual groups within this university. I'm sure that I'm going to be fed and it's going to be a fun experience every single meal and it's something to look forward to. My favorite chef. You have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Thank you. See you in court. I am coming to win it for Team Jamaica to the world. Hey everyone, Matthew Bancroft here, the 23-year-old junior sous chef from the Jamaica Pegasus Hotel. And I'm here to win Maggie Food Court. I am from Old Harbor St. Catherine and unlike traditional persons who grandma and mom introduced them to cooking, actually saw daddy cooking and I said, hey, I want to help you. And he's like, okay, peel onions. And the peeling of the onions developed a love for me to just say, right, I want to do this professionally. So Jamaica's culture is different from anywhere else. When you think of food and someone starting to describe food to you, you can literally smell it and taste it. He knows what he's about. He's, he's very, very positive around the stove, very confident around the stove. Okay, my training started, as I said, at home and then at Glenmere High School, flagrants. <laughs> All right, then I went on to the chef. You've been summoned to Maggie Food Court. Wow, okay, cool. I'll see you in court. All right. All right, so everyone I'm competing against, firstly, I want you to do your best. Don't be nervous, but at the same time, I'm going to bring my A game. My name is Andrew Waite, also called Chef Manzi from Montego Bay, Jamaica. I didn't have the opportunity of going to culinary school to be trained like that. So a lot of my training, I went to different, different restaurants. Because of my interest in it, I've done cooking with a lot of famous people as well, um, just to name a few, Mark Waynes, Sonny, uh, Drew Binsky, some of these are the people, are some of the biggest YouTubers. Andrew is a good cook, he brings a lot of flavor to the kitchen, a lot of flavor to the kitchen. He's very passionate about what he do. For me, winning the Maggie Food Court competition would mean the world to Chef, me. Chef? Yes, sir. You have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Uh, <laughs> all right. See you in court. Yeah, man. Good to see you, sir. Definitely. We're in it to win it. Look out for the surprise. Best of luck to everyone. Hi, I'm Cardell Alcock. I'm 31 years of age. Welcome to the Courtly Hotel and Suites, New Kingston. I was told by a couple of friends that, hey, you know, you're a bad chef. You know, you need to get certified to go forward. Then I approached Heart Academy where they told me that Man, you have so much years of experience. Waste of time to do over the schooling. Why don't you get an on the job certificate? And that's where I got certified. I just want to tell Carlin to put 100% in everything he does. Stay focused. I definitely think he can win Maggie Food Parts. The creativity, the drive, the passion. You can win. You will win. So, yeah, I'm a father of two. 
a beautiful girl and a handsome gentleman. Funny enough, kids would be afraid of pepper, but my children, they Chef, love pepper. you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. Wow. See you in court. Thank you. If you literally feel my belly move a while ago, <laughs> when you hear the word summons, like my belly move, you all better watch your back because I'm coming for the trophy. My name is Laniel Lale. I am 25 years old. I'm the head chef at Bristol Ridge Villa in St. Mary, and I'll see you at Maggie Food Court. So I have been cooking for pretty much a bit over six years, and I have enjoyed most part of it. I believe he is capable of winning this competition due to the level of consistency and determination that he possesses. In the Jamaican culture, we like to have a flavored dish. So we like to taste, taste the flavor of each um, seasoning in our food, and that has pushed me to actually find ways to enhance flavors in the food and actually put flavors in food. I think Lanyin, I know Lanyin how it takes to bring out the trophy. He knows how to put a dish together, so that's what they're looking for. Lanyin is the guy. So my favorite meal to prepare is anything pasta. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. See you in court. Okay. <laughs> Is there a line for this? <laughs> to my competitors and my fellow contestants, I wish you all the best and all the luck. But watch out, Chef Lani is here. My name is Leighton Meeks. They call me Chef Earl. Self-employed chef, here to take over, set trend, and just come to enjoy and meet new people. Cooking wasn't really my first choice. It was a little more of a hobby. When I gradually started getting older, started loving the kitchen more and more and more and then I got the exposure while being overseas. So that's where it pretty much started. He spoils me with cooking. On my birthday and Christmas and whatever and he serves me fancy food like I'm in the restaurant. We have so much to offer in you know, a wide variety of flavors. It will help the culture a lot and get people to understand that our food is on top. No matter where you go in the world, it's on top. There's something about letting him cook, is he brings joy in him. So, he's not going to have no nervousness when he's doing his thing. So, I know he can win. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. See you. All in right. Court. All right. So, I go on. This is Chef Earl, and I'm coming. And when I say I'm coming, I'm coming with a bang, not a tush, a big bang. And I'm here to take over, so watch yourself. Cause me there. Boom. My name is Ricardo Hepkins. I'm 25 years old. We're currently at the Broken Plate. And I'm going to the Maggie Food Court where I'm willing and I'm going to take it on. How I got introduced to cooking was in high school, I started doing food and nutrition. So that's where most of the girls were. You wanted to be where the girls were. And I got involved. I loved it. I excelled in class and 10 years after I'm here now. What I love about Ricardo's cooking is his ability to adapt. Whatever we throw at him, he's able to adapt. He's able to make it a better or more unique dish. Somebody can be in a, in a field for 20 years, but they, they lack passion. Ricardo is not doing this for money. The 20 years versus his three years here at Broken Pair with the growth and experience, of course. I am working towards showcasing my talent and establishing myself as a well-pronounced chef and winning the Maggie Food Court, competing against fellow Caribbean mates. Come on, there's a lot there, you know, bragging rights. Chef, you have been summoned to Maggie Food Court, Caribbean. See you in court. This is, this, this is a bit hostile, but my fellow competitors, it's either the A game or the end game because I am coming to take it all. You could cut the tension with a knife as the Caribbean's best chefs get one chance to inspect the Maggie Food Court room before their big showdown. Tune in to the next episode for the start of the knockout circuit, where 16 chefs become four. Who will triumph and who will be sentenced to removal from the competition? Find out next week on Maggie Food Court Caribbean.